Good afternoon again. Good I, afternoon. Good afternoon, Inon. Uh, very nice to meet you. Uh, uh, I'm very bad at French names. My apologies. Uh, Guillaume, do I pronounce it correctly? You can say William. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure to have you both uh, at our conference. Um, uh, I would like to introduce our speakers, uh, Ninon Mate, uh, International Sales Consultant at uh, Tessa Skibos. Uh, Nina has been already working into the field of, uh, of, of brand protection for more than 10 years, but looks much younger. Um, and Gorion uh, uh, also is uh, very active in, in the brand protection age, uh, industry, especially in automotive. Um, I don't want to take any more of your time, and I would like to give you both the floor. Thank you very much. Uh, good day to everyone. So yes, as uh, already said, I'm Nino from Tesa Scribos, and today I'm with Guillaume uh, from Stellantis X PSA Group. Hello, everyone. Um, today we will talk to you about intelligent markings uh, for counterfeit protection and transparency. Um, if you have any question, we will be there to answer uh, you at the end of this uh, presentation. In Tesa Scribos, uh, for brands willing to go digital, we connect uh, products with the digital world. We do that by creating unique markings and digital tools, enabling products to communicate with consumers exchange data and interact with track and trace systems. Together with the brand owner, we analyze the need, develop a customized solution, and we manage everything from solution definition to implementation and even furthermore, as we will see with Guillaume in a minute. We do all this based on the brand management expertise of Biostoff Group, to which we belong. Um, indeed, Beiersdorf is known for its brand like uh, Nivea, La Prairie, Anza Plast. Uh, we also have a real expertise in adhesives uh, from our mother company, Tesa. Of course, Tesa Scribos is a leader in anti-counterfeiting solution, creating unique markings and digital tools uh, for the fight against counterfeit and gray market. At the same time, we digitalize your products. Here you have a non-exhaustive list of our customer uh, who are today in all sectors such as wine and spirit, food, electronics, construction material, uh, pharma, luxury good, and of course, automotive and spare parts industry. Um, yeah, I will now let Guillaume tell you about uh, his own experience. Thanks a lot, uh, Nino. As you might know, uh, from January 2021, so beginning of this year, uh, FCA and PSA uh, has merged to become Stellantis. Um, the creation of uh, Stellantis marks a new chapter powered by combination um, of two automakers, uh, each contributing a rich heritage, uh, iconic brands and track records of performance driven by the, by a competitive spirit. So Stellantis is a leading global mobility player guided by a clear mission to provide freedom of movement for all. Um, our portfolio of brands is uniquely positioned to offer distinctive, affordable, and sustainable mobility solutions uh, to meet the evolving needs of customers as they embrace uh, electrification, connectivity, autonomous driving, and shared ownership. Uh, these brands have made automotive history for more than a century and continue to speak uh, to customers. Uh, of course, we offer a full spectrum of choice from luxury 
premium and mainstream passenger vehicles to pick up sport utility vehicle and light commercial vehicles, vehicles as well as uh, dedicated mobility, financial and parts and service brands. We have industrial operation in ne nearly 30 countries and a commercial presence in more than 130 co markets. So, um, as you can see, in the past, um, PSA was behind our main competitors on quantified topics. You can see here um, on a former chart packaging and labeling. And um, in 2005, you you know you you you, you we the, it was a, a succe successful year because uh, the 206 vehicle was a success, and uh, that's why packaging and labeling they were in colors uh, blue and reds, and uh, it was a it was a, at this time very. Um, a way to prove that we are great. And, but, you know, with the, the crisis uh, in 2008, <laughs> the, the, the marketing teams and the, the, the packaging, you know, uh, they decided, uh, because it was the crisis, to um, uh, change and leave the call. And in 2019, uh, in 2010, sorry, we we were close to the bankruptcy, and so we decided to to stop uh, logos on the packaging and uh, and so on. So at the at this time, the packaging chart and the labeling was con were considered as a protection or uh, to promote the brand and also. Uh, to lead against counterfeited products. But in fact, we were cl clearly behind on our competitors and uh, we decided to set up uh, a new project to improve uh, the, the labeling and to, to set up the security features in the labeling. So why? It's because um, it's, more and more difficult to distinguish a fake and a genuine part. Um, and that's why it was a, a, a request internally and to, 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 this, to, to improve the, this, uh, this, um, this topic and to improve the, how to distinguish a, a fake and a genuine part. So, um, <clears throat> in our project, uh, it's clear that um, it took only two years to make an internal decision. F for for doing that, we we uh, we first we decided to launch a request for information, and after that, a request for quotation. And of course, internally, we um, decided to um, uh, to show. Uh, a cashing cash out to, imp to 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 help the decision uh, to implement this project, and after that, after this decision in uh, uh, 2016, uh, we took uh, only two years to 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 we took we 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 sorry we implement this project by different phases. At the beginning, we start with a pilot with four suppliers uh, and, of course, our main logistics platform in the Zool uh, city. In a second step, we, um, of course, we decided to uh, enlarge uh, the deployment and um, we deployed to supplier producing spare parts and, uh, that were hit by counterfeiting. And at the last step, we deployed uh, all original, um, uh, we deployed the secure labels to all original Peugeot, Citroën and DS spare parts. <coughs> and uh, 
and also in for accessories and uh, a new brand named Eurorepar uh, for Eurorepar suppliers. Of course, this project was recently uh, extended to our new brands, uh, Opel and Vauxhall, because the, we purchased Opel and Vauxhall in, in um, August 2017. What is the, the, um, why we choose, uh, uh, TISA? It's because TISA, um, proposes a security feature, uh, and a strong solution against counterfeits. So this, um, these solutions are not available on the market, uh, from other companies. This solution is unique per item giving a real identity to each product. So thanks to this uh, robust uh, feature, uh, we are able to distinguish easily genuine and fake part. And I think what is important uh, in this solution is the, that uh, at the first control, you, you can uh, check with your eyes. You know, the visual control is really requested by customs, of course, but also by our network and by the, the, end, the final consumer, the, the, the end consumer. And this is really important. But, of course, we are now in a digital world. And, um, uh, you know, we need... Uh, to, to, to provide new tools. And that's why we, we appreciate the, the, the solution, uh, uh, provided by TESA because we, it, this security feature is connected, uh, with a unique QR code. And, um, this solution enables to, um, uh, to enables interaction with our network, our distribution channel, and of course, to the, the end consumer. And this is a really a real plus, you know. Um, um, I think um, this is the, 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 this solution is not only focused on the label. The, we, we decided also to implement an ordering platform uh, indeed, we have uh, 19, more than 1950, uh, 1950, uh, sorry, 950 uh, suppliers, sorry, uh, spread uh, worldwide. And that's why it was really important uh, to implement with the, to implement this ordering platform with the support of uh, TISA. Um, with this uh, tool, we are able to, um, to, we have statistics on, f f concerning the ordering, but also we, we can monitor the volume control. And, uh, this is, uh, 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 also a plus, uh, for, for, with this tool. Um, as I told you, this uh, solution provides also direct interaction with our network. Uh, with, uh, some repairers, some, uh, end consumers. And we, we are able to receive direct market feedback. Uh, and, and, um, indeed, um, each consumer or each repairer is able to scan the QR code. And if they think that this part or this label is suspicious, we will receive a custom, uh, a customer uh, feedback, in fact. So through this web authentication process, we are able to improve the, how to, fin, to, we are able to distinguish better the genuine and the fake parts and also launch some, sometimes some investigation, but we will see that uh, later. So, in the future, um, this solution, uh, we, 
will be able also to provide more to more uh, opportunities or more um, uh, information uh, to the end consumer and also to our, to our garages. In, in, in fact, uh, it deals about technical documentation, uh, repair method, uh, safety, or uh, usage tips, but also we will be able to promote brand or some products uh, and uh, run perhaps a, a royalty program. And this is a uh, this is a great advantage to use this tool. Um, yes, with the, the 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 scan of the the label, we are able uh, to monitor the 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 scans and the customer feedbacks. And because we receive the geolocalization, and so we gain transparency uh, about quantified activities. And uh, some of our investigators are um, able to do online investigation and sometimes on the ground also. William, a final Thank you. Perfect. That's perfect. This is Thank now the, the time for Nino to, <laughs> to, to have the floor. So, so Thank that's you. perfect. Many thanks, Guillaume. Um, so as you all understood, uh, it's Tesla Scribos is more than just a label, a security label supplier. Uh, it's also a provider of service, uh, a real partner, I would say. Um, a whole team is mobilized uh, for the success of uh, Stellantis project, a uh, technical project manager. Uh, there is also customer service, logistics service, marketing team, uh, IT service as well. Um, yeah, all of them have uh, helped uh, provide Stellantis with what revolve around the central point uh, of interaction that is the security label. So you have an ordering platform for the 950 suppliers, intuitive mobile authentication service. You have a platform for brand experts to identify and investigate on imitation attempt, um, statistic providing transparency also for the supply chain, targeted communication tools to custom and also for other target groups. And you have performant uh, logistics service. Yeah, all this, of course, would not have been possible without uh, Stellantis suppliers um, who are implementing, in fact, the, the security labels that uh, Stellantis defined. So, um, yeah, we are not only uh, offering uh, physical markings like for Stellantis, uh, but we are also offering 100% digital ones, um, which can be directly printed onto the labels or packaging. As you understood, there is uh, this, this unique markings are the unique touch point for fighting against counterfeit, do online offline, offline authentication, customer interaction, gray market protection, uh, efficient data analysis, B2B ordering platform, and uh, licensing, licensing management as well. Many thanks to the audience um, for attending this session. I don't know if there are questions now, maybe? Uh, no, not at this moment. Um, I do have one question, or actually, uh, I, I think one comment is what I find very strong of, 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 of the solution uh, you both came up with is the integration of checking if a product is, is real or not. Uh, it's part of a much better, uh, much bigger uh, app solution because I think one of the, the challenges is uh, getting consumers and in, maybe also uh, car dealers uh, to, to really use the app. Um, May I ask uh, how many people uh, downloaded uh, the the app? Is that something you you don't need? You don't need no. any app. In fact, it's exactly. all web, web web based. So this this okay. is a real plus uh, of our solution because, in fact, uh, when you are using an app, may, we know that maybe 
even for a big group, uh, maybe 10,000 10, people will download it. So it means that you you limit uh, the number of scan to the people uh, downloading the app. That's why we really recommend to the brands when they want to, to let's say, to interact with uh, more uh, consumers or garage to, to uh, get more data, uh, to go through directly... Uh, a web-based uh, solution, a solution that you can control without without an app, because it's true that you are losing a lot of people when it comes to downloading something. So yeah, that's why uh, we choose the QR code, an encrypted QR code combined to the physical security feature to really uh, uh, make it secure. Yeah, Excellent. and it was also our uh, specification. In fact, yeah. for Stellantis, uh, we we did not want to have a, a, an, um, a specific tool dedicated to only experts um, because uh, we would like to have some uh, feedbacks from the ground, from the market, and it, this is uh, uh, better. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and it's true it was a Stellantis request and definitely uh, we have other solutions uh, which can be hidden uh, or which can be directly printed on the back, but in the Stellantis case, uh, and in general, we do recommend to our customer to go for a web-based um, solution. Yeah, as you understood. Very but clear. Also, yeah. So a QR code reader is enough. Okay. Perfect. And I, I think that's a wise decision. And Ninon and uh, uh, William, <laughs> my apologies. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, five years of French in school down the drain. Uh, um, thank you very much uh, uh, for being uh, at our uh, online conference. And I hope to see you soon again. Uh, thank you very much for sharing your knowledge. Uh, to the audience, we're going to move to the next room and I hope to see you again there. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye.